I have a PhD in molecular biology. When I started out with my studies, I was sure to win the Nobel Prize one day. But in the end it turned out that being a researcher was not my true passion. During my community service, I found out that I'm really interested in biology. So I started to study molecular biology at the University of Vienna. I was very interested how our body fights against viruses and bacteria. And so I went on to do a diploma thesis and my PhD thesis in the end. Being a researcher might sound romantic, but the opposite is the truth. I was working 12 to 14 hours a day, including the weekends, and the main problem is that research projects might run over the course of a couple of years and you don't even know if there is any outcome. I quickly realized that working in the lab was not the thing that I wanted to do for the rest of my life and so I started to search for alternatives. Music always played a big part in my life. I went to my first Guns N' Roses concert when I was 13 years old and after this memorable event I started to play in a death metal band. Unfortunately, people were not ready for our band and so therefore we stopped it after five years. Another passion was photography. I started really late with the age of 28 when I got my first digital camera and took pictures of flowers and landscapes. And I can remember clearly when I was cycling with my bike to work, I had the idea why not combine my two passions, photography and music and become a concert photographer. So I started out in small local clubs in Vienna and worked my way up to be a staff photographer at the magazine. The main point of this was to build up a portfolio and to get into the business of a concert photographer. The problem was that I was still doing my PhD thesis. So I was working every day from 9 to 6 and then went to the concerts. This was the point when I thought to myself, I have to change something and therefore I chose to follow my passion instead and doing the things that I really love. So after two years being a concert photographer, I realized I wanted to work with bands directly. So normally I was restricted to shoot from the photo pit and had no contact with bands at all. So one day when I saw that Fat by Slim is headlining a festival here in Vienna, I thought why not just writing an email to the management and luckily they got back to me and invited me to join the show. Once I was at the venue, I met Fat by Slim and he offered me to do a 30 minutes portrait session with him. In addition, he also said that I can shoot the whole show on stage. So being on stage in front of 30,000 people was the coolest thing I have ever done as a concert photographer. And this is when I got struck by the concert photography virus. So for example, this is one of my first concert shots ever. It's from TV on the radio and they were playing in the arena. I guess it was about six years ago and uh, yeah, that's still one of my favorite shots. So this was probably the fastest photo shoot I ever had. It's from the Prodigy and uh, this picture was seconds before they entered the stage and uh, I was really lucky to to got this shot but I'm really happy with it and I think that's my favorite portrait. So this is what I'm really proud of. Uh, this is the new album of the Prodigy, The Day Is My Enemy and they have four concert pictures included. So when I was shooting with the Prodigy I was really excited about it but I didn't know that these pictures can turn out as, uh, as booklet pictures. I mean for me that's, that's crazy right because I never attended any photography school I had no knowledge about the music business and the prodigy are idols that I was listening when I was 15 years old. And it went on. One day I got an email from the management of the German Balkan band Chantel asking if I would like to join the tour. And so from being on stage in Vienna, I went on 
to be on stage in Mexico, in Canada and the whole Europe. This was an amazing experience for me as a concert photographer. So this showed me that I had found a way how the music business works for me as a concert photographer. In addition, I also saw that a lot of people are struggling with getting into concert photography and living their passion. And so therefore I thought I can start my own blog and teach people how to get into this industry. So with how to become a rockstar photographer, I cannot only help people to live their passion, but it also enables me to live my dream as a concert photographer and live my passion too. So at the end of the day, I truly believe that I made the right decision. But during my PhD thesis, when I already knew that being a researcher is not my dream job, I had a hard time studying for nine years to become a PhD and then just go another route and jump into the cold water to be a self-employed photographer with no photography training and no business training at all. It's rather crazy. I thought about for two years if I should really make the switch. And I mean, it's scary. And I know a lot of people who are not living their dreams because they are scared. But I have to say the transformation from a researcher who was frustrated and not motivated at all to becoming a rockstar photographer with my own online business was probably the best decision I've ever made.